Hi guys, I'm gonna jump straight into this tutorial. What you're gonna need in order to bleach your knots is BW powder or whatever powder you choose to use. Some people use Kaleida colors, um, but I use BW powder for my lace. And I use two scoops um, because this is a lace frontal. If you only had a lace closure, then you would only use one scoop. And I also use 40 volume developer. The developer I'm using is from Clairol. And um, when you mix this up, you want to make sure that it's not too runny and not too thick. If it is too thick, it won't really mix. You'll still see powder. Um, so you want to add just a little bit more developer. And if it's too runny, and how you'll know that it's too runny is that when you pick up the brush, um, the, the mixture will fall off of the brush. So if it's too runny, you're just going to add some more powder bleach. I'm going to do that until it is perfect. And I'm going to show you exactly what it should look like in a second. When you pick up your brush, nothing should fall off of your brush, but everything should be mixed. See that? Even I shook it a little bit, nothing came off, but there's no powder left. So I'm just going to tap this really lightly onto my lace because I do not want to accidentally push the bleach through the lace and get it on the hair. So just lightly put it on the lace. And then once the hair has processed um, for 30 to 45 minutes, you want to shampoo the lace with neutralizing shampoo and then with shimmer light shampoo shimmer light shampoo is a purple shampoo that will get any brassy color any orange type of color out of the knots because you your scalp what needs to look as non brassy as possible so um that's what the shimmer light shampoo is for you can get that from any local beauty supply store now what i'm doing is plucking my lace and when you pluck you want to do it behind the hairline you do not want to pluck on the hairline unless your hairline has a lot of dips in it but mine does not have a lot of dips mine is actually pretty um consistent and it just you know you just have to thin it out and this is how much hair i took off of this closure so don't be alarmed if it seems like you're taking out too much hair these closures have a lot of hair on them so it's absolutely fine and this is the finished product I installed this using my glueless installation method and I can still part it everywhere just like as if someone has glued it down the only difference is that it will lift when I pull it up and I'm going to show you that in a second but you can part it anywhere and the reason why it looks so natural at everywhere where I part is because I bleached my knots and also because I made sure that I got the brassiness out so my it doesn't look like an uh, orange scalp it actually looks like my skin tone and as you can see the hairline is absolutely perfect if you decide to glue or take this down you would have to definitely protect your hair but it will not lift but I'm okay with this because nobody should really be pulling on your hair anyway. And as you can see, it can lift up. But when I put it back down, you cannot see where it stops or starts because my lace is perfect with my skin tone. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Netta underscore Murderdom. And I'll see you next time.